Two at five, former Chicago Bear tough guy Steve Mongo McMichael recently announced to Chicago he had Lou Gehrig's disease. His devastating diagnosis shocking the sports world. Well, WGN connected with another former NFL family living with ALS. With no known cure, former Baltimore Ravens number 57 is defying the odds. And WGN's Julie Unruh is here now with more. We know the diagnosis is just the hardest one any family could get. This family is finding a way to walk through it together. O.J. Bergantz, nicknamed Juice back in the day, never thought he would see his 40th birthday, much less his 50th. Diagnosed with ALS at 37, the former linebacker is now 51 and counting. He's confined to a wheelchair, is on a feeding tube, and can no longer speak. But his wife shares a story of hope and purpose, even as they live with the near certainty ALS will eventually claim OJ's life. They live for today and hope the McMichaels family can too. It's a decision, and we have decided to make lemonade out of lemons. Shanda Minor Brigance lives with a team mentality every day. She learned it from her husband, O.J. Brigance, known as Juice. For the early part of their marriage, she was the wife of an NFL linebacker. But in 2007, everything changed when Juice was suddenly diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. He's not supposed to be on God's earth right now. He's supposed to be in heaven, according to the doctor. But he's right there. The progressive neurodegenerative disease usually gives patients two to five years to live. OJ has been living with ALS for 14 years. Juice, you still the same person. I know it, man. They're getting through it together. OJ and Shanda lean on their faith, rely on one another, and live every day with appreciation. Is it easy? No, it is not. Is it fun? No, it is not. But guess what? We're gonna make up our mind to get through it the best way we can and to be strong as we can so that way we can help someone else. We're gonna find a way to crush ALS. OJ still works in the front office for the Baltimore Ravens. He and Shanda run their foundation, the Brigance Brigade, to help others in the fight against ALS. Your time and effort will make all things possible for ALS families and support. Speak Life's mission to use sports as a platform to intentionally inspire significance. And they locked elbows long ago and never let go, starting with the day they were married in 1994. That's right. To Steve McMichael and his wife Misty, reeling from Mongo's own ALS diagnosis, Shanda says this. They've got to stick together. Yes, he needs her, but guess what? She needs him too. Because at the end of the day, I look at OJ, he's still my husband. I still need him. In March, Shanda took a break as full-time caregiver and published a book, the first in a collection. It's called Who Cares? A children's book from the perspective of a caregiver, talking about disabilities, specifically ALS, and the experience of walking through it with someone you love. He's the cute little boy in the wheelchair, and I'm the cute little energetic girl. And it's just showing the, our relationship, what I do as a caregiver, what I, I do as far as helping him, and how he loves when I help him, and just the special relationship and the bond that has been formed because of this help. I just ran on my hands and as the Brigances continue their battle against ALS, they're convinced OJ's health remains steady for one very good reason. He's a living example to others. This assignment is bigger than we are. It's bigger than we are. And so we've got to find a way to get it done and get through it and walk through it because there are others who need us to do it so they can know how to do it. Shanda and O.J. Brigance reminding us all, it's not just what happens in life, it's how you respond to it. For this Super Bowl champ, that means living his life knowing he gave it his all. Let's build a nationwide community together where people with ALS can thrive with purpose and passion. At the end of the day, we got one shot at this. And we want to make sure that we hit the ball out the park. And boy, are they. This illustrated book is clearly for children, but the Brigance family sees it also as a launching pad for those difficult conversations centering on disabilities no matter how old you are.
For more information on the book, Who Cares? You can head to our website, WGNTV.com. They sure are a testimony to living. Right. Talk about an amazing attitude. It's true. It's Touching all up here, right? Inspiring. Man, thanks for sharing it, Julie.